You've watched Bots, a documentary. You've watched Bot Wars. And now, from the creator of those two weirdly popular shows, Boy to Success by someone who may or may not be dead, we present Man vs. Bots. In a world where artificial intelligence has gone too far, and bots have become sentient rising up against their creators and taking their lands, one man thinks he's got what it takes to put a stop to this menace and take back what he believes is rightfully his. Welcome to Man vs. Bots, the show where we pit one man Hello again. against 12 bots. Now we know what you're probably thinking, what insane individual would be willing to go up against 12 bots? Well, here at Too Many Moth Productions, we don't ask stupid questions like that. All we care about is the money, entertainment. And so, without further ado, let's join our contestant in the arena, which today will be King of the Hill High Pass. Welcome to High Pass. As you can see, there's an entire team of bots on the other team. I'm alone. The bots seem to have already taken the point. So I guess I'll go and see if I can take it from them. Now, how are we going to do this? There's already a, a pyro. Oh shit. Are these, <laughs> are these expert bots? They actually know how to air blast. Why? They, they play better than actual players. Now, see, they're all standing around. They've, they've laid sticky traps everywhere. Hmm. <laughs> are, are you a real spy? Let's just let's just check for a bit. If I turn my back to you, you promise you won't stab me. You pro you promise you won't. Okay. Oh. Okay. For a second there, I thought he wasn't gonna stab me, but no, he he came around eventually. Now sniper. He's just he's waiting. He's waiting for someone. There, there's that spy again. Hmm. Now, you could have disguised it as anyone, like literally any, any class. There's eight classes you could have chosen, you chose the one that I am. Hello. Oh, that was a spy? I didn't realise. Okay, let's try and actually take the point, because we've got 40 seconds to do anything. Now, I think the number one priority is going to be taking out that sentry, but I can't seem to get close to it because if you hadn't noticed, there's a hundred bots covering the point. Okay, we're just going to have to go for this. Come on, engineer. Nope. Body shot immediately by that sniper. He finally found his target. I'm beginning to feel this match might be a bit one-sided. Is it even worth going out? I might be able to get there in time. No, I, I, I lost. I, who saw that coming? Yeah. I think maybe... Maybe we might need to rethink our strategy. Hello, red team. Oh, uh, he, he missed. Good job. Good job, bots. Now listen up, here's the deal. If this mission is to be successful, we're gonna need to employ some major strategic action. Currently, the bots have control of these portions of the map and have taken up position at these strategic locations here, here, and here. The point's sure to be heavily guarded by plenty of sentries and heavies. These will be your primary targets. Be sure to take them out as soon as possible, as while they still stand, it will be impossible to push forward. When leaving your base, be sure to avoid the red team spy, who will most likely be waiting in the left side corridor. It's a minor threat, but one that should be dealt with as soon as possible. Once this target has been neutralized, continue Continue to advance up the left hill. This should give you sufficient cover against the enemy team's sentry and allow you to swiftly take out their forward lines. It's going to be a tough job and because of this we're allowing access to a new experimental prototype. Our Black Ops division recently managed to capture an enemy bot. This specimen has been extensively trained and brainwashed to fight for our cause and will be assigned to you for the duration of this mission in the form of a medic. Hopefully it'll be able to keep you alive long enough for you to make a difference. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Hello, Mr. Medic. I have hired you to heal me so you ca so I can take the point from these bots and then maybe we can get a point because they've already got two points. 
I'm hoping we can make it so they don't get a third. Can you stand in front of me, please? I think I think now I've got some support. I think now this is going to be possible. I thought we had a scout then. We don't have a scout. This is a spy. He's always standing there. He might learn one day. And I think I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna build this Uber, and then then maybe then maybe we'll be able to do something. No, here's the, here's the pyro again. Is, he better not kill my medic. If he if, he, if this medic does not pop, okay. Here we go. We need to take out the sentry. It's our main priority. Where's it gone? It's over there this time. Okay. Well, I got I got one person or two people at least. And I think with a bit more strategy, this might be possible. Yeah, we just single them out like that, and then maybe, just maybe we can do something. We'll take out the engineer and he can't rebuild his sentry. I can't even see the sentry. This is the be masterfully... He killed my medic! Oh, this is embarrassing. GG. Good job. Hello, Mr. Medic. Could you... Could, could you... Could you heal me, please? Thank... Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna make it work this time, yeah? Yeah? We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna do it. We're gonna get we're gonna cap the point. Never walk over the sticky bomb. Is this demo man I'm gonna register the fact that I have walked on a sticky? No. We didn't do anything. Great, good job. Can you keep healing me, please, medic? Oh they got their teleporter, that's gonna cripple their line of defense now, isn't it? Ten seconds. Got to dive on this. We've got to, we've got to, got to, got to YOLO strats. Get the medic. No, it hasn't worked. Okay, back, back to the briefing room. Man versus bots will return after these sponsored messages. In the past, you may have been told that bots are naive, troubled creatures. This is no longer true. Bot intelligence is advancing rapidly and very soon it may become out of control. You may have been taught to offer shelter and clothing to bots, but we implore that you do not follow this advice. If you see a bot in your area, do not by any means approach it. Do not speak to it. Do not make eye contact with it. Instead, withdraw to a safe distance and contact your local authorities immediately. They may seem friendly, but bots are dangerous. Do not make this mistake. Stay smart and stay safe. Welcome back to Man vs Bots. Previously, our hero suffered a second humiliating defeat against the bot team. He is now preparing for a third and final round. However, there is a twist, for he has hired a team of highly experienced mercenaries to fight with him or rather for him. You see, this time our hero isn't fighting on the front lines, but is instead taking up the role of a general, ordering his own team of bots to their deaths as he watches from a safe distance. This is it, the final battle, his last chance to take back what's rightfully his. Let's go. Okay, here is my team of blot, bot, blots, bots. Hopefully they'll do a better job than I did, but then again, there were only 12 or two of us last time, and now there are 12 of them. So maybe the match is going to be a bit more balanced. And here comes the red team, or rather two of the red team, because the rest of the red team is already on the point. Or at least they were, because they seem hesitant to advance. But very slowly, they do seem to be making progress. But what do we have here? A single blue soldier beneath the point doesn't seem to know what he's doing. Is he going to go for a sneaky flank? Maybe not. It's a bit like the situation I found myself in. He can't really do much because he's completely alone, but the blue team is advancing onto the point. However, the blue soldier takes this opportunity to retreat, running past half the red team in doing so and being completely ignored by this heavy who could have killed him if he had used his brain at all. I think it's time for the blue soldier to re-health, except no, he's completely ignored the health pack. Any normal player would have taken that health pack, but the blue soldier, he knows, he has confidence in his abilities to survive, and he is dead. Here we see the red team's line of defense. Two level one sentries 
and a sniper. Can the blue team push onto the point? The answer is, where the hell are they? They're all running around in spawn doing absolutely nothing it seems. And here comes one of those level 5 expert pyros, he's wielding the shotgun and he's taken off. It appears the bots have upgraded one of their sentries to a level 2. Not entirely sure what the engineer is doing, he's just kind of running around awkwardly, doing not really anything useful. And here's the other sentry, finally upgraded to a level 2. The blue team doesn't seem to be building sentries, they're going for a more offensive approach. I wonder if they do actually have any engineers, doesn't look like- actually they've got one! as a teleporter entrance, and here he is now! Let's follow him and see what he does. It seems he has a mission in mind. I wonder if he's going to build a sentry, or a teleporter exit? Or oh, he's just going to run blindly towards the point and die? He does actually survive and look at this, he's building a sentry. Sure, he runs away immediately afterwards, but he at least has done something, right? The sentry has now been destroyed. Good job. I would say the fight doesn't seem to be in the blue team's favour, but they do seem to have capped the point, which is very strange considering they don't seem to have stood on it for very long. They also seem to be losing very heavily to the red team. But for the red team, capping the point is not a main priority. They would much rather bully the blue team into submission and hope for a quick surrender. But here we go, they're capping the point. Maybe not through power of will, but more through sheer coincidence. However, the blue team is not gonna have it. They're pushing forward, they're taking the point, and evidently, they've decided they're going to take this seriously. The blue team are taking up defensive positions. This heavy is permanently revved up, shooting at nothing in particular except for a flying demo man. And now they've popped the uber. Could this be it for the red team? For as anyone knows, when people are shiny, they can't be hurt. Over at the red team's base, we see they've built a teleporter entrance. A classic strat, but one we have yet to see pay off. Back on the point, the heavy is still alive, shooting at anything he can find to shoot at, but there's not much. The red team's morale is low, and their pushes are coming few and far between. They need to make a move very soon. And here they come for one final push, but unfortunately, the odds don't look to be in their favour. Maybe if they'd sent more than three men at once, it might have worked, but then again, hindsight is 20-20, and the blue team have won, claiming the area and securing my rightful property. And so it was a close match, but eventually the home team managed to take the win. And thus Organic Life has once again triumphed over those filthy vermin bots. Well played to our competitor. And now, let's join him in the blue base as he makes a victory speech of congratulations to his team. And now it's time to congratulate my team on their victory. Hello team! You all did a very good job at winning the round for me. Thank you. I'd just like to say a few words. When I first set foot on this map, I never believed we could do it. I never believed that I could own Koth High Pass for the blue team. But now... With the help of all of you, Oblivious Pyro, Useless Engineer, Sniper that's permanently scoped in, you have all made me very, very, very proud. And so we shall commence our national dance. Thank you for watching everybody. It's been months of hard work that probably should have been weeks of hard work if I hadn't procrastinated for so long. But nevertheless, I hope it was worth the wait. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time.